I was being chased by a death claw just now. Uh, I'm gonna uh, stay over here because I'm not in the mood to deal with a death claw. Oh my goodness, this is not. He scratched me once. Oh! Shit. Oh lord, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely going to die. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, why do I keep on missing? Ah! Oh, oh, another smack. Another smack. Another smack. How are you not dead? Stop! Broken. Great. There goes my arms. There goes my... Nice! It's your girl, lover of ladies, surviving a deathclaw attack. Cause I'm awesome! And we are here at the... Abandoned Insane Asylum. Because why wouldn't we want to go into a scary place that's been abandoned, you know? You feel me? Hey. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Chill. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new girl. So yep. this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Though it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're gonna finally get rid of them. If they're around here somewhere, that means that they're trying to ransack everything and everyone from this area. Which doesn't make any sense to me. It's an abandoned, insane asylum. What could they find that's worth selling to besides old medical re old medical re um, equipment possibly dead bodies because it's fallout of course so I just don't really understand what would be the value of ransacking in a sane asylum oh they actually have holes here too so they could just look at this i love how there's just giant holes on the wall but there's no one guarding or protecting or even trying to fix said wall these are some crusty dusty guards that the family has hired because if that was me i would have been home depoting a repair Hey. Boom! Now you won't have to share no more, right? Am I right? Okay, upstairs, right? That's two raiders that are down. Ooh. The mother load. What is that? Oh, the robots? I'm not... I'm not in the mood to deal with any robots. Come on, you... This is getting out of hand here. It's like multiple DLCs active at the same time. Get get out of here. Come on. Kate, come on. Get out. Get up, Kate. I'm not in the mood. Much better. Thanks. Like, you have me dealing with raiders and robots. Why? How? How? Why? I'm just here to get a package. That's it. Oh, oh, you serious? I hate these little eyeball robots. And they're, they're shooting me with a laser, thinking that's gonna help. 
And both your arms are just injured. Kate's on the floor struggling. Rather be off I have that. rads up my ass. Let me let me just heal myself quickly. This is getting ridiculous. Come on. Come on, man. Let me just get the package. And I'll be on my way. I'll get out of your way. And you'll get out of my way. Sounds like a good deal, right? Apparently not. Both my arms are still broken, by the way. There's more? Up, oh, I got the package. Nice. Okay, so... Who's down there? Yeah, I hear them. Begging for the life. Yo, can I just... Come on and load. Hurry up and load. Hurry, hurry. Come on. Slacken. Bye. I hate this. I need to find a better weapon. Because me missing loads over simple stuff is pretty annoying. Did you just dart me? Anyways. Both of my arms still suck, by the way, but... I'm killing everyone left to right with broken arms. How is that possible? Come on. Alright, Kate. It's time to go back home. That is not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, mother! Imogene Heap? No, like, what, what you say, Imogene Heap? So did you find out what happened to the courier? Mother, Edward has better things to do than... Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Yes, I got back the serum. Here you go. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. No. Thank you. As far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not going to be happy about it. Come on. I can't bear to think what might be happening to Imogene right now. We've been... Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Emma There might be some Thank valuable you. stuff inside. Always come Let's go on. check it out. Why Shut up, Cake. We, Kate, we just got here. Come down. You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. She sounds like a cancer. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. I Usually, wish. by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? Fine, I guess I'll just grab the brat and have her come home. Back in Good Neighbor with the Silver Shroud costume. Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. I still I still can't believe Kent died, but I tried, you know. 
so I'm a genie is somewhere in the third rail. Let me see if, you know, I get any luck. Hello, hello, I'm back, but for pleasure, we not for business. Keep that in mind. With that nice little piece of yours, trust me, I would not be a troublemaker. I want that suit though, I ain't gonna lie. Cause I've been invited to my niece's quinceanera. So if I could find a suit like that, boy, I'ma look fresh to death, bro. Okay, so I'ma talk to the bartender. Who the hell is asking you, bro? You ain't buying beer. You ain't buying. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This gal wants a word. What? You didn't have to tell her to pause the music. I could have waited. Now I feel bad. Oh my god. I feel such an inconvenience now. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I loved the song. It was perfect. I think the song wasn't the only thing you were enjoying. Oh, well, thank Wait, Kate? Are you jealous? The tries her best. <laughs> Kate is jealous. Now, there's something How? special Why? about you, isn't there? But don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? Whoa, so whoa. What brings a woman like I am a committed me? woman, Magnolia. Don't flirt with me. Me? Playing a game. First idiot who grabs my ass gets his arm broken. Ten points if he's drunk. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Um... She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. That bad, huh? Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. Oh, no. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Oh, Most of no. the customers wouldn't give him the time of day. But Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't like where I this is going. It hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Ham. Oh, the guy no with problem. the slick suit. No, bro. this lady here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas. Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them, just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm, well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Thank you, Magnolia. I appreciate it. Peace, sister. And honestly, ham, bro. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. You gotta tell me where you get your suit from because that suit is so on point. I feel like if I could get a suit like that, I would be looking mad cute at my niece's quinceanera. Like, I would be looking dummy cute. So apparently, Imogen is in that nasty, crusty, dusty area. Is that some sort of a concert hall and they made like a little village around it? You gotta be kidding me. 
This preacher guy sounds like a joke. Seriously. How much you want to bet it's like a weird ass cult? Oh my god, it is a weird ass cult. I'm surprised he's even willing to walk over to me. Look at his little dusty hole Welcome, up suit, neighbor. bro. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? I mean, Do yeah. Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Because we were nuked to death, bro? I've got more important things to worry about. I doubt that, neighbor. What could be more important than transforming your life? And maybe the whole world along with it. We Probably get a razor the the to community. help shave off that pubic we're hair stash. We're a new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth. And as fast as the hair in your face. Exciting future. Step right this way and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I'm not looking for a sales pitch. A sales pitch is the last thing I would ever give you. And yet I'm you're doing it. Anything, neighbor. You're selling I'm an idea, away a vision, the of a morale, life, happiness, and values. prosperity. Giving them away. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? You owe it to yourself to give not it a, a chance. chance. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's one of the villages that I helped build as a Minuteman, but who cares? I really don't care about their happiness. I really can't take no for an answer, though. Once you find out all the benefits of being... You can't take no! I think you'll see where I'm coming from. Well, Sounds like... Right this way, neighbor. Um, this sounds pretty suspicious, but I got my... Weapon. Don't be shy. Just follow me. This is stranger danger. So, Brother Thomas, if you do anything suspicious, I'm gonna nuke your ass, so you can have your first class ticket to, new to new see Bible. Jesus. Where's Diamond Jean? All so you're not gonna say anything. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job. Getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. Don't he said, like that. Give you me no all. I'm giving this idiot a thing. Bro, Kate. I'm glad she knows how much of a clown he is. I'm actually just looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. Really? She's not seeing visitors. How convenient. What's she doing here? Is she a member of your movement? Actually, she and I are, you know, mm. romantically involved. Oh, really? Not that it's any of your business, but... But you just made it my business. She and I are just having a little relationship trouble really you know how it is i mean She's i know of a healthy consensual relationship off. i'm a friend of the family maybe i can talk some sense into her oh come on these idiots aren't gonna listen to reason look the truth is we had a little uh disagreement about her joining the movement because you can't say no kind of or take no so whatever. i locked her in there until i could figure out what to do with her if you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Just like that? You. She's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. And I didn't even need to kill anyone. Now that she's is a happy yours, ending. Neighbor. All right, Brother Thomas. Thank you. Hello. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Well... Actually, it was Edward, but close enough. Edward, who works for Jack. I know Jack was behind this. He's always trying to control me. Hmm. It wasn't Jack. It was your mother who wanted you found. I'm fine, as you can see. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. 
But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Thank God, because your personality is so bland. I would have gotten sick of being around you. Move, Imogen! Hello, Move! I don't want to be stuck here! Move! Get out! Anyways, um, what happened to Brother Thomas? Did he dip? Did he really dip? Oh, I he's right there. To change your life today. No, you that's not Brother Thomas. Brother Thomas. Oh, well, shut up. Know? I should bomb this whole place, Loki. Anyways, I'm heading out. I can't wait. Is that Tom? We don't have anything to talk about. You know what? I nah, I'm not trying to be a murderous psychopath. Let's go home. What the hell is going on? This is maddening. Edward, are you there? Sounds like you need a new radio. Edward, switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear me? Edward, switch over to the Hartley there modulator. There might be some valuable stuff inside. Copy? Let's go check it out. Now. How's this? Oh, oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this. Oh, shit. For God's sake, Sammy, the doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen. If they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Oh no! Edward! Hello? Edward? Oh no. Come in! What if Edward? he's dead? There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. And then here's where I come in. Hey, what is it? What's uh, going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Bro. Probably the same raiders that stole the serum. Exactly, and all the beefed up. Maybe. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. Yes, please. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. Mm -hmm. My family and I are all over 400 years old. What? It also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling her all this? In the Why course not? of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood so the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives 
Wow. The irony isn't lost on me. But if you were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Exactly what abilities does he have? Yeah, what am I and dealing with here? Is he an X-Men? Oh shit, oh, he's an X-Men. Kind of local telekinesis. Oh no. To be projected by the artifact itself. An X-Men. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Oh, now you're concerned about your sister. That's cute. Yeah, I found her. Hard to believe she didn't want to come home to her loving family. That's truly none of your concern. Oh, he's her. one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be Thank wanting you. to be paid, of course. Yep. Edward usually handles these things. Okay. Caps is what you use for currency. Isn't that right? Give me Here. my money. I Run it. That's the right amount. How Before much? We go, 200? I need okay. you to understand something. Yeah. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. Mm. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to deal with him. He sounds like a is sociopath, bro. Yes. Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack. And try not to hurt him. I love father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that. Death. I'll do my best, mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. I don't need anything right now, thank you. Damn, Jack, you're pushing me out of the way, fool? Anyways, Kate, let's go. It sounds like we have some family issues to attend to. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.